Yeah, the, the, the reason why I'm emphasizing that uh, you need to teach about this uh, prosperity gospel and wealth and uh, health and wealth uh, prosperity gospel is that uh, we get here pe uh, our people are under two things. One is poverty that is suppresses them and uh, that makes them to ad admire to to hear or to want to, to want to hear about the prosperity gospel and the second thing is people live under fear of evil spirits because Africans believe in uh, evil spirits around them either they are this is or they these ancestors or just evil spirits around so the, they are attracted by these people who come with the hellish uh, wealth prosperity gospel when they put up the crusade the attract people that you bring the sick, you bring the demon possessed the people, you come, if you are poor, poor, you come, you get rich. So these people are attracted and they are deceived, they are promised that when you come, when you accept Jesus Christ, you will become poor, you will become rich. Uh, when you accept Jesus, you, 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 you will get out of poverty. And yet these people who are calling them, they are also deceived. They also deceived, they also use witchcraft and things like that. Uh, and, and, and it's just like a, a mixture of uh, uh, Christianity and African tradition. Uh, there are some people who come to church who call themselves Christians. Uh, who, who claim to have accepted Jesus Christ and yet they still also believe in the evil spirits, they will still believe in the witchcraft. So because they also live under fear, they want to hide in Christ and yet they still fear, they still pay allegiance to evil spirits, they still believe in the, uh, witchcraft. So I was trying to warn the parent who brought the child that when you dedicate your child to Christ, you must believe and trust that the Lord will keep that child. And that, show, that means that you must turn away from witchcraft and turn to Christ and trust in Christ and will keep the child. It's common that everybody believes in some powers. And by the powers I mean either our sisters who died they come as spirits, or they believe in witchcraft, which is uh, uh, supported by the uh, powers or spiritual powers beyond their control, beyond their knowledge. So they believe there is something, there is some power that oppresses them, whereby they, ha they, they need to appease that power or that spirit or that witchcraft in order to live at peace. So. They, they will claim, even when the rain doesn't rain, they will claim, maybe we have not appeased certain spirit. If the crops don't come well, they say, somebody has bewitched my garden. If their children are not doing well, they will say, somebody bewitched their children. Uh, those are some of the, 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 the examples to show that they believe in some powers. And even some people, when they are going for a journey, they want to appease some spirits that, so that they can grant a good journey or a good trip to them. When people become Christians, they don't always turn away from the former beliefs they had. So some of them, they cross with that to the church. And although they believe in God, or they believe in that Christ has uh, cleansed them, they have been forgiven, but they still believe that there are some powers maybe following them or suppressing them, and they have either born them in poverty, they have been born them in sickness, so they will always uh, attach sickness to those powers. Even when the mosquito bite and someone got malaria, you will think that maybe the evil spirit. So these uh, health and prosperity gospel preachers, they will come and say, we want to 
cast out the demon of malaria. We want to cast out the demon of measles. We want to cast out of them, all, all, all diseases. They attach those diseases to, to uh, uh, evil spirits. There are many, even not only just churchgoers or believers, but even pastors also still believe in witchcraft. And we have seen some cases where people, even pastors, have practiced witchcraft to heal. And they claim that we have used God's power to heal, and yet they have used uh, witchcraft. Because we have got some testimonies of people whom they claim they healed. They claim that they were given you know, witchcraft and they were do, 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 done on this and, and all kinds of things. Uh, this training, that's why, uh, Pastor Steve, I invited you, that you can come and help uh, our people, our pastors, come the truth. Because that's what I thought is the only way to help them, that you can teach them how to differentiate between a Christianity and African tradition religion. Because many of them have crossed with it, and it has crept in the Church of Christ, that even the, the, those people in the, in the church still believe in those powers. And I think the only remedy for this is these seminars that you, you, you hold that will help. African church be a real church and not secretism.